Hey there, explorers! Have you ever wondered where rain comes from? Or why puddles disappear after a sunny day? Today, we're making our very own water cycle in a baggie so we can see this amazing process in action! The water cycle is nature's way of recycling water, and it's happening all around us every day. Whether it's rain falling, rivers flowing, or steam evaporating from your cup of hot chocolate, water is constantly moving through a really cool process called the water cycle. The water cycle has three main stages. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. And today, we're going to be looking at all three of those using just a plastic baggie, some water, and a sunny window. The materials you'll need for this experiment are a clear plastic resealable baggie, some water, some tape, a permanent marker, plus some food coloring, and a straw. Step one is to take your clear plastic resealable baggie and your permanent marker, and we're going to draw a very quick and simple diagram of the water cycle on the baggie. It's important to remember that we're actually going to be tipping our baggie a little on the side so that water will pool down in this area. So down here, we're going to draw waves, like a river or a puddle or a lake, ocean, anything. This is where the water is going to evaporate from. Then it's going to condense up here, which is where we're going to draw a cloud. Clouds, if you remember, are just gathered particles of water up in the atmosphere. Precipitation happens when those particles of water gather together enough and become heavy enough that they fall back down into our body of water. Then the water cycle begins again and over and over and over. First, we're going to draw our waves down in the lower corner. Then up in the top, we just need to add some puffy clouds. We've got our clouds where the water will gather. We've got our body of water where the water will fall. And through this baggie, we can watch the water cycle happen over and over again. Now that our baggie is ready to help us illustrate the water cycle, we need one more really important thing, our water. I'm going to use some blue food coloring just to give this a little more flair. Express yourself. And so that I can see the drops of water a little bit more prominently as they go through the cycle. I'm also very curious because I haven't done this experiment before and food coloring is water based. So it should travel with the water as it goes through the water cycle. But because this is nature's way of recycling water and cleaning it over and over again, I'm curious if that will filter out the food coloring during this process. Now that we've got our baggie ready and our water, we're going to pour our water inside. There we go. We don't need much to illustrate the point of the water cycle. So now our next step is to seal the bag. I'm going to put a little extra air into my baggie using my straw. So I'm going to seal it most of the way. Put my straw in that last little bit and just fill it with air. All right, then you quickly remove your straw, seal your bag, and now it's ready to be taped to a window and observed so I can see the water cycle in action. Science! Here's what's happening. The sunlight heats the water in the bag, causing it to evaporate, turn into water vapor. This is just like how puddles dry up on a warm day. The water vapor rises and condenses on the sides of the bag when it cools, forming tiny water droplets, just like the clouds in the sky. When enough droplets form, they'll collect and fall back down as precipitation, just like rain. This mini water cycle is the same process happening on Earth every single day. It's how plants get water, rivers stay full, and we get rainbows after a storm. Did you know that the water you're drinking today could be the same water that dinosaurs drank millions of years ago? Thanks to the water cycle, Earth's water is constantly being recycled. So we have the same water that the dinosaurs had. Farmers depend on understanding the water cycle to keep their crops healthy. Even the rain that waters your garden is part of this amazing process. You can even take this experiment a step 
further by doing it twice, placing one baggie on a nice sunny window and another in a cool shaded area. You can observe the differences between the two. Whether you're doing this experiment at home or at school, we'd love to see your results. Don't forget to share your mini water cycle in action with us on social media. Subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media so you don't miss any of the fun in the lab. You can also head over to explorationstation.net to find the free worksheet for this experiment and more. If you'd like to help further our adventures in education, you can visit our Patreon page and help support Clayton's Exploration Station. Now you stay curious out there, explorers. Clayton's Exploration Station.